Hi all, Cryptic here, welcome back to the channel. And today I've got probably the last tutorial I'm gonna do on the SSD, NVMe SSD for the PlayStation 5. Uh, Sony announced yesterday that the update's coming today, so it's only a few hours away. And I had a few questions about from a few viewers and people on that who bought the AORUS 7000S that there's a new firmware update uh, for the flash controller. Basically, the update is to go to 2.1 version um, to essentially uh, add stability for console use, specifically for the PlayStation 5. Now, let me put a disclaimer immediately. If you're not comfortable with doing this or you don't have a computer or a laptop to be able to do this, that's okay. The SSD as it comes from factory, from your whoever you've purchased it from will work immediately. But if you are wanting to update to the newest version for the stability, just follow this video that I'm about to go through. Okay, so obviously you need the SSD. And secondly, this is a product that, um, that will be on uh, a link below to the Amazon link that I got. But essentially, once I open this up, it is an M.2 SSD slot to USB 3.1, okay? Um, so that way, if you don't have a laptop or your motherboard on your CPU that directly accepts the SSD, you can then just use this adapter to do the update. You also need the uh, Gigabyte AORUS Utility Updater, um, which I'll put the links down to, in the description box below as well. Um, but we'll go from installing this onto the adapter, connecting it to the PC, and then applying the update, and then confirming that the update version has been installed. And then we'll just wait for the final release, and yeah, just enjoy uh, extended storage internally on the PS5. Okay, so let's open up the package for the SSD. That's it there. Done. Now, as you can see, it's got its own heatsink on, so you don't want to get the enclosures. The enclosures are essentially uh, going to cover it, which you don't need. You don't need any heat dissipation, so that's why you're getting just the adapter. The adapter comes without the enclosure case around it, right? Because um, it won't fit then. You put this on top with then uh, the enclosure case, it's not going to fit, so you're better off just spending this, since we're technically only going to be installing it on our PlayStation 5 and not using it as an external hard drive or external SSD. Yeah. Okay, so that's unpacked. Crack the seal open, anti-static bag. Now, it comes with the adapter itself. Thermal pad, if you have um, an SSD without um, without uh, the heat sink, but we're not using this, we won't need it. Adapter, and it comes with screwdriver for the screw that's installed. Okay, so it comes with everything you need. Again, I'll link this below. If this isn't available in your region, anything similar is fine. doesn't really matter. Okay. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to be using the box as an anti-static location to get the installation done. I'm going to undo the screw using the provided screwdriver. Now, it's not on very tight at all. It's quite loose, actually, and it turns perfectly off. Yep, there we go. Now, what I'll do, that's the screw there. If you can even see it, it's tiny. I'm going to leave that there on the anesthetic bag so it doesn't roll anywhere. I'm going to grab the SSD. And as you would in the PlayStation slot or any M.2 slot, be gentle with it. You don't want to break anything. There we go. It's in. And now what we want to do is push it down and screw it in. Yeah. So screw it back onto the screwdriver or better yet, try and just put it in there. As I said, the cooling heatsink on this is very um, thick so it might be a bit of a struggle to get the screw aligned on like I'm struggling now but what I'll do I'll pick it up with the screwdriver here the only negative thing about this is that it's not magnetic for the screw um, so it's a bit fiddly uh, let's get that on again There we go. Once we get it turned a few times, it will uh, straighten up into the threads. Screw it on. You don't need to go super tight, just enough to hold it down. That'll do. It's now physically installed. 
and it's not going anywhere. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to put it straight into the USB port of a laptop, a desktop PC, any Windows device or a Mac device because you can download a Mac version of this and just yeah format uh, well not format update the um the firmware on the drive so we'll cut here and then the next thing you're going to see is us uh, recording straight onto the screen showing you how to do it through the utility software okay hi guys so we've got the aorus 7000s connected to the usb port of our power pc there um, there's a little blue LED on the adapter that'll tell you that it is connected and on. It'll flash, it'll do as it's reading information. What you want to do then is go to uh, the AORUS website for Gigabyte, uh, select your operating system um, and download the SSD tool. This will confirm that you have the firmware updated correctly and be able to read if there's any issues with your drive. So I highly recommend keeping this um installed um, you can uninstall it once the process is done and you've confirmed the second update uh, here is the actual update tool this will actually get it to version 21.2 um, this is the one that comes with all the stability updates as you can see it was just uh last month it was actually towards the end of last month that the update went live and yeah now the update itself is to essentially add stability for console use um, it's not going to improve performance or anything like that, but it will just mean that over long-term use of consoles, there should be no issues. Not saying there will be if you don't do the update, but if you have the means to do it and you're willing to do it, I'd highly recommend doing it. Um, just as it is with modern SSDs today, they need updates as well, just like everything else. So what you want to do here um, is hit rescan. That'll pick up the device. Um, then you want to hit power on function DLMC and then you want to hit run and then done so now that it's all done what you can do now is close the update up now if we go to the SSD tool right and we hit let's say rescan here there it is firmware version EIFM 21.2 Life remaining 100% It's all good, no issues Now, if you've already installed this drive To your PS5 And already have game files saved on there And you're going to be removing it Because you're in the beta program To then do the update You can safely do so It will not format or touch anything With what you saved If for whatever reason you are worried Do a backup on your PC on a folder somewhere Just in case But all reports are showing that doing the update while it has everything saved, there is no issue. But as you can see here, we've got the update now and we're done. All you want to do then is uninstall it off the adapter, unscrew it and put it back onto your PS5. If you're unsure of how to install it into your PS5 and you're just got it new now and you're doing the update, um, I'll have the video linked in this video somewhere um, of our uh, how to install guide for the PS5 SSD. Anyway guys, that's the tutorial. This should be the last video I do on the SSD unless something drastically changes or something epic happens. Um, hopefully you found this ho helpful and useful. If you have, please hit the thumbs up button. It means a lot. Comment below any questions or anything at all. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed. Take care guys. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.